What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. It has been far too long. I'm supposed to have some sort of doctor's appointment today, so I figured perfect opportunity for me to slap together a YouTube video. I figure I'd show you guys all the notable stuff I picked up or, or got in the mail, I guess, over the past two, three months. Uh, some of this stuff's pretty cool, so let's just kind of jump right into it. But before we jump right into it, I do want to talk about a couple of things. First off, uh, Saturday night, just, just this past Saturday, I was on a uh, interview uh, podcast show, a YouTube channel called the Super Mega Retro Dudes. Uh, awesome guys. I'm glad I did it. I did this like interview podcast thing at like 10, 11 o'clock at night. I was on there for about two hours. I'm not sure if it was streamed or not. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually posted on their channel. I'll leave a link to their uh, channel in the description. But man, I had a lot of fun with those guys. And after the interview podcast thing was over... I was playing like S Parade. I was playing some shooter on my Switch and I heard my computer say, Hey, John. And I was like, What the hell? So I look over and I'm on this like Discord server with like all these other people, like video chatting. So pretty much what I did was like I partied Saturday night with these guys, but like I, I was like in my house. I guess this is what people did during like COVID, right? But I don't know. It was a, it was a great time. I, I loved it. I hope I can do it again this coming weekend. Um, maybe not the, the podcast part, but at least the hangout part. I think I made uh, two new friends. And also, there's a couple of guys that uh, that I know, like Robert and Wes of Gaming Off the Grid. Uh, guys, if you're watching, I think you would be uh, perfect for these guys' YouTube channel to interview. Uh, Dan from Rebel Gaming Club, uh, Alex, that game collector. I'll be reaching out to all you guys to uh, you know to reach out to these uh, super mega retro dudes because uh, you know they need some guys to interview, and they interview good people. Some of the people they've interviewed, look, Nerd Layer. The Southern Sega gentleman, Rain Bean. Rain Bean, I, I hope that dude's all right, man. It looks like he's been losing weight. Um, Rain Bean, man. Hey, holler at me, bro. I just want to hear that you're all right, man. I'm worried about you. Uh, Scarlet Sprites. That was one of those dudes I hung out with at a convention, and when he was around, like I found all kind of cool games. So, yeah, and these guys are like super cool, too. So, super mega retro dudes. Link is in the description. Uh, let's jump right into these pickups. Okay, so the big pickup. I'm going to jump right into the big one. I got this, uh, I guess it's an assy pad. Now, this is for the Dreamcast, right? And you might say, wait a minute, that looks like a Saturn controller. That's pretty much what it is. It's a Saturn controller for the Dreamcast. I already took it out of the box, used it a bunch at this point. Awesome controller. Where has this thing been all my life, okay? Well, it's got the, the memory card unit holder right there. This actually has rumble built in. Yeah, you don't need a rumble pack. Uh, you can actually turn the rumble or vibration on and off right there. So let's compare this to a Saturn controller. Uh, clearly, you can see that there, especially in Japan, I think the Saturn or yeah, the Saturn controller was a uh, um, more desired on a system like the Dreamcast. And you know, there's things like Brooks converters and stuff like that. You can use uh, Saturn pads on your Dreamcast, but the D pad is a little bit different but let's let's let, it's not as good as a saturn controller let me just say that and this is one of the newer saturn controllers same mold though um it, it's almost as good it, it's pretty damn good it's pretty damn good it's almost as good as this not not quite almost but i'll tell you what guys it blows the hell out of this thing i can't and there's so many good shooters on the dreamcast like let, let, let's go over some of them look okay so many shooters on the dreamcast okay here look these are just shooters that I've picked up over the years. You know, there's a lot of shooters that came out after the, the Dreamcast was a thing, but there's so many shooters on the Dreamcast. Um, a, a lot of them are kind of hard to find right now. Um, but luckily, most Dreamcast, you can uh, play that, what, dot .mil file format. You can burn your games, play them. There's uh, optical disc emulators out there. But, I mean, look at all this. There's all these awesome games for that awful, awful controller. It, it, it blows my mind. Why wouldn't Sega have made a better controller? I mean, yeah, there's other options out there. There's that uh, that DC Strikers pad. I thought about getting one of those. And, you know, there's stuff like this. I don't have all the shooters on the Dreamcast, but, I mean, you guys get my point. I mean, Fast Striker, uh, Neo Zix. I mean, my God. There's so many good shooters on the Dreamcast. But we have that awful, awful controller. I was actually down at the flea market... And I was actually telling a dude about this controller. And you'll never believe this. The dude was like, oh, yeah, I got one of those in the other day. I got traded in a big collection of Dreamcast stuff. And uh, one of those controllers came in. It's like a special edition one, I think, like a SNK one. It's got the box and everything. I was like, are you? I was like, dude, are you lying? 
No, I mean, dude, don't play. He he busted it out. He just he, I didn't know the box was actually going to be this small. I mean, let's compare this to a video game. Pretty small, right? So yeah, I I really adore this uh, Dreamcast pad. I think I'm going to do a review on this on my channel. As a matter of fact, the guy that sold me this told me that he wanted to see me do uh, a review on my YouTube channel about this controller because he saw how excited, like I'm going to shit myself when he pulled this thing out. So anyway, this Assy Pad, awesome, awesome controller. I cannot recommend this thing enough. You can find these online, used ones for like, they're expensive. They're like 80, 90 bucks. You don't need to get it with like the box and everything. I just kind of lucked out and found a, a copy with the box. But the same guy that traded that in, traded in a bunch of uh, Dreamcast stuff. And this is one of them. This is like some kind of fighter. I forget what this thing's called here in the U.S., but this was like a like a five dollar uh, Dreamcast game. But I know here in the U.S. this goes for a bunch of money. I think this is one of the more expensive fighters on the system. Uh, leave it in the comments below what this thing is called. I, I remember, but I, it slipped my mind. Um, and these were, uh, I think I got these for twenty. Power Stone one and two, the Japanese versions, of course. But I mean, they're pretty much in English and. I really, really, really dig these fighting games. I, I really like them a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, what can I say? I actually owned Power Stone for the Dreamcast as a kid. I actually had a Dreamcast at launch uh, when they came out. Never owned Power Stone 2. But, uh, yeah, phew, God, I can't recommend these fighting games enough. These are these are a couple other games I probably want to review on my channel at some point. And, again, you... You, you, I, I want to play these with that DC striker controller. I feel like that's really where these games are going to shine. But I will say they did play a lot better with this than they did with this. So just throwing that out there. So those are some cheap uh, Dreamcast imports. Um, I got a PS4 game. This is a Nex Machina. This was a game that was recommended uh, to me by uh, Robert and Wes of Gaming Off the Grid. Uh, pretty much uh, after they got the game, they fell in love with this game. They talk about it on their channel, and I respect those guys' opinions. And they've bought, I think, a few games that I've recommended to them. So I was thinking about this, and I was like, you know what? They recommended this game to me. I'm gonna buy it. It looks cool. It looks like, and it plays a lot like like a Smash TV or a uh, like a Xeno Crisis. Same, same kind of controls. So if you guys like Xeno Crisis, Next Machina, and why isn't this set on the Switch? Like, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, this has climbed in price. I got this brand new for 50. The, the disc is actually in my PS4. This is what I'm currently uh, playing on my PS4. No manual, but you get a little, uh, that's kind of cool. Looks like some Ghost in the Shell type of stuff going on there. Awesome twin stick shooter. Next Machina. This is a limited run game that came out a couple of years ago. Um, it was like a $30, $40 game for the longest time. I just, I slept on it, never got it. I got a new copy for 50. Um, there was one copy for 50 and like all the other ones on like the whole internet were a hundred. So I snapped on it when it came in the mail, it was new, but the disc was like loose, like rattling around in the case. I mean, it still works though. So screw it, I guess. But yeah, next mocking on the PS4. Um, these aren't all the games that I got guys, but uh, I, I just kind of thought these were more notable. Um, now this PS2 game I've been looking for, for many, many years. This is sky gunner. This was like one of the first uh, like hidden gem like PS2 games on the internet that people talked about. This one kind of when hidden gems were like for the PS2 were a thing. This one kind of rose in price fairly quickly, uh, but it, it it never really went over like a hundred, a hundred and twenty uh, dollars. But I don't feel like taking this thing out of the sleeve. It's complete. The disc is in good shape. I tried to stream this and play it last Saturday or two Saturdays ago. Although I do feel like this is going to be a good game and I'm going to, I'm going to fall in love with this. I, I, at the time, I just wasn't in the right state of mind to actually get into this. Plus, there's an RPG that I'm playing right now. So after I'm done the RPG that I'm playing right now, I plan on playing this because I've heard a lot of good things about it. I don't know. I haven't played it. But yeah, Sky Gunner. Sky Gunner on the, on the PlayStation 2. Uh, here's another Gunner. This is for the Switch. And I haven't opened this yet, but uh, this is the collector's edition or complete edition of a, a rolling gunner. Um, yeah, this was a game I had downloaded on my PC. I think, I don't know, through Steam, maybe through somewhere. But, I, you know, I played this on my PC 
liked it a lot saw there was a version that got ported to the switch downloaded it maybe two years ago this thing came out on the switch now this was supposed to come out physically by a company called physicality games i pre-ordered it it was like 80 bucks it was supposed to come in this like big metal tin with all this cool stuff uh I remember it was like a year later and I hadn't heard anything and I reached out to the company and they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's still going to come out. If for any reason it didn't come out, we'll definitely give you your money back. But yeah, yeah, it's coming out. And I felt weird about that. I was like, all right, you know. And then one day I looked and I had extra money in my account and I looked and it was a refund from Physicality Games. They said that there wasn't enough pre-orders on Rolling Gunner. Are you kidding me? Okay, so Rolling Gunner is like a shooter made by like X-Cave employee or employees. It's like awesome fucking visual soundtrack. This game is a straight banger. I don't get that, but whatever. Another company decided to do a physical, and uh, it's still out there. This hasn't sold out yet or anything, but I recommend this one. And uh, I haven't opened this yet, but I haven't, I haven't played or downloaded the Overpowered DLC yet on my PC or my Switch. So I plan on uh, opening this soon. And playing the overpowered DLC because uh, I heard there's some there's some hype behind it, but we will see. Um, okay, so some Switch games. Okay, here's what I'm playing. Here's what I'm playing right now. Yeez Nine. I love the Yeez games. I like the the action RPGs. Uh, games like Dot Hack GU, Last Recode, this Tales of games, the Yeez games. Like what I'm playing of this so far, and uh, yeah. I, People are saying in different parts of the world this is starting to become like rare and collectible. I don't get that. Uh, it just came out. But I will say this. When I went to Best Buy to get this, there was only one of these. This was the day it came out. I went there after work. I grabbed it. And I've been to a few stores after that. Haven't seen any since then. So if you guys want to play this, maybe you should grab it soon. Because I don't know what they did as far as like how many they made physically. I mean, at least it's available digitally, but anyway, use nine. Uh, this was a Play Asia game I got from Play Asia, <laughs> Saga Frontier Remastered. I guess it's just maybe the first game. I don't know if it's both games on one cart, but uh, yeah, this was a, an RPG uh, series that I, I liked a lot as a kid. I, I played through both games. I own both games. I remember one of the game, maybe the second game. I was like, eh, maybe it was the first game. I mean, something about one of the games kind of struck me as kind of odd, but it's been so long, so many years since I played through this. But I, yeah, I haven't played through this Switch uh, version yet. I mean, I opened it, but it's not really a whole lot there. But at least the game is on the card. I didn't see any type of download or anything needed, so awesome. But anyway, Saga Frontier Remastered on the Switch. Pick this up at Walmart. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered. This is awesome. I've put a few hours in on this already. Um uh, yeah, I can't say enough good things. I don't know why I waited for this. I should have got this on the PS4. If I see this for sale on the PS4 or like cheap at the flea market or something, I'm going to get it. This is definitely going to be one of those games I got to own on uh, two different systems. Um, yeah, uh, God, excellent, excellent. Now, it says here there's a download. There was a sticker for a download on the front of the game. I slapped the card in and I started the game without doing any of the downloads in both games or at least everything seemed to be there. I'm not sure what all downloads. I'm not sure if it's music tracks, extra levels. I'm not quite sure, but there is some some downloading involved. Unfortunately, I would like for this to have like a game of the year edition where all the DLC is on one cart before a lot of the licenses for the music or maybe some of the people or whatever expire. So Activision, get on that. Do a game of the year edition for the PS4 and the Switch or the Xbox One. Do it physical. That way people can have it, have it forever. But anyway, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered. Now, you might say, John, what the hell are you doing with this? Um, Atelier or Atelier series. I owned all these games on the PS3 at one time. Traded them all in at the flea market. Because I remember thinking, uh, man, I'll just get them all again sometime. And they're they're starting to become hard to find. Um, yeah, I, I saw this at the flea market. And it, this is really starting to climb in price i actually had a cover a couple covers to one of the ps3 games so i just threw it inside of here why i don't know uh, not a whole lot here as far as like inner artwork or anything like that but all three of the games are on one cart and that's pretty cool you know there, there's some other games on the ps4 that came out in the series uh, i think some of that stuff could probably be ported to the switch but uh we'll see a lot of crafting involved in these rpgs and 
it was some early i think the earliest this series goes back to is like the ps2 days and i think i have most of those games for the ps2 as well but yeah a little cute rpg series but i don't know i just got this because there was three the collector and me wanted to get this it's three of the atelier atelier whatever atelier dusk trilogy for the nintendo switch okay and i guess the last game that we will talk about would be rival mega gun now what is rival mega gun rival mega gun is a lot like this game right here twinkle star sprites uh, rival mega gun is pretty much a twinkle star sprites clone what do i mean by that so it's a shooting game like a shoot 'em up but it's a fighting game like in Twinkle Star Sprite, you kill enemies and you send things on the other side of the screen trying to foil your enemy and vice versa. Uh, there's different gameplay mechanics and like, like different power-ups and just different ways you can kind of get at your enemy in Rival Mega Gun. I feel like Rival Mega Gun takes Twinkle Star Sprites kind of to the next level. But uh, yeah, the company that put this out physically, and I don't know why they're slipping my mind right now. And I don't know why I got the, the Japanese version, uh, first press games. Uh, I don't know why I got the Japanese version of this, but I mean, this is just like the standard edition. This thing comes with a coin, a manual, like inner cover art, like all kind of this fancy slip case. This isn't a collector's edition. This is just a regular standard edition. This this fancy, y'all. This shit here, this fancy. I dig this. Now, I have some collector's editions from the same company pre-ordered. So I'm I'm excited to get those in and crack them open. Um, one of the one of them is those uh that, that cute collection of those shooters for the PS4. That thing sold out quick too. There's only 250 of those things. So I got one of those coming. Pre-ordered it maybe a year ago or maybe a few months ago. So we'll we'll see when that thing comes in. Hopefully they don't they don't cancel that pre-order, but they shouldn't because it's sold out. But yeah, that's uh that's pretty much the what I got that's notable over the past couple months for. All the video game systems. I know I'm Baltimore retro gaming, and then there's there's some retro gaming stuff here. Actually, most of this stuff is retro, except for the Switch stuff and the one PS4 game next Machina. But I mean, think about it though. All the modern stuff I got, all this stuff's kind of like pretty much retro anyway. Saga Frontier, Rival Mega Gun, yeah, shooters and RPGs. You know, whether they be on the retro systems or the modern ones, that's pretty much what I like to play. Anyways, guys, till next time, peace. Phenomenons like curry garbage, what you talking about? I'm tossing albums in a can like Oscar the Grouch. I always hear about them popping, probably popping at the mouth. Nothing much, cut the Dutch, no problems with the South. Ill shit is ill shit, yo, the problem is the sound. What I'm hearing is dookie, y'all appearance can't move me. Tight jeans and earrings, clearly not amusing like museums. Full seeing bitches on display, this is the day I spit it vicious with the pits in the cage. The sickest in this wicked business, stick the fishes in the tank. Listen, swimmers, I'm proficient with the...